With regard to the origins of cricket, there are many conflicting tales. But the sport began as some back garden fun when the tortoises challenged the snails. An unlikely pair, you'd think to yourself, not being that fast or alert. But cricket's not a very fast game, and neither side could get hurt. So the captains tossed up and tortoises lost. Snails decided to bat. It was hard to know which opening batsman was which, except one had a white floppy hat. Neither side had a fast bowler, so it was hard to know which team would win. But Snails opened the score with a well-taken four. The wicket was not taking spin. By lunch, Snails had hit 110, and both their openers had gone. One was chewed by an adder, and the other was caught at mid-on. It's said in the sport that Tom Tortoise is the best close fielder around. He can run a yard in two hours, and his catching is remarkably sound. There he was, up at the wicket. Snails were on the attack, and Tom stopped a shot that was six all the way, and his shell got a very bad crack. Now, due to dandelions out on the boundary, the tortoise's field was quite deep. Terry was bowling one ball every hour, so most had just dropped off to sleep. It was soon quite apparent, despite their large size, that the tortoise attack was a failure. Their biggest mistake was they hadn't used Jake, a tortoise of spin, from Australia. So up he stepped with his definite style, one claw each side of the ball. It was met with a shot that had scored quite a lot, but this time scored nothing at all. Snails were sure a single was on, but after an hour hadn't crossed. There seemed some sort of doubt. One was run out, and another wicket was lost. Sam Snail was in next, and the field were perplexed. He hadn't been bowled out for years, but Tommy bowled short. Samuel was caught, and walked back to his teammates in tears. Most of the batsmen were back in the grass. It seemed like Tortoise's match. Steve Snailer was impressed with his vigour and zest, but was out to a very good catch. By T, Snails had scored 209 and had one batsman left to go in. An undersized snail called Freddy the Frail, who looked most anemic and thin. Now Tortoises, thinking this could be it, moved into field close to the stumps, but the ball left Fred's bat like a cannon and the close fielders were covered in bumps. For Fred, although looking quite skinny, could bat like the devil possessed, and what with banal tortoise comments, quite frankly, Fred wasn't impressed. He hit fours, sixes and singles, and was soon approaching his ton. He played square to short extra cover, and his partner in snail shouted, Run! Fred's running was certainly not his strong point. His legs were as skinny as nails. It just wasn't on. The run was too long, and the tortoises whipped off the bales. How's that? yelled tortoises. The umpire agreed, and Freddy the Frail was run out. But it had a good bat, and had it not been for that, it'd have made a hundred, no doubt. So that was the end of the innings, and Snail scored 301. They started batting in August, and finished when autumn had come. So needing 302 runs to win, Tortoises started to bat. First ball caught Tim Tortoise on the front of his claw, and the snails as one yelled, Owl's heart! Now Sam Snail, who bowled from the nursery end, had many a pat on the shell. But he wasn't content with one wicket first ball, he wanted one on the next ball as well. Oh, in came Terry, the captain. He was covered with scratches and scars. As a man, I would guess, he would be a success selling second-rate, second-hand cars. Sam Snell ran and bowled to Big Terry, and a Yorker caught Terry first ball. Not out, Terry said, and smacked Sam round the head with his bat, which was terribly cruel. How exciting, Sam on a hat-trick and a very bad headache next day. Two wickets had gone, Sam's bowling was strong, and the third soon went the same way. Three balls, three wickets, not one single run. A really one-sided affair. And the tortoises, feeling embarrassed, put their heads in their shells in despair. Go for a draw, lads, yelled Terry. 
To which the snails replied, What a cheek! We batted all through the summer. You'll be out by the end of the week. And that's how the first test match ended. The snails made 301. And tortoises, most unexpectedly, didn't score one single run. Now, as you know, snails are not very big and too weak to go call in the score. And they've got to live with the tortoises. So everyone called it a draw.